Well, little Karis Dawson was a bright and happy six-year-old when she suddenly got sick. She was diagnosed with leukaemia, but is feeling much better now, thankfully. And she's here with her family this morning to tell us all about a very special project. It's a big welcome to Karis and her parents, Laura and Mark. It's great to see you all. Hi, Sarah. Oh, beautiful Hi guys. faces there. Laura, I might start with you. Um, what were Karis's symptoms? And when did you know that something was very wrong? Um, shortly after Christmas last year, um, Karis had an ear infection, but this was around the time that COVID was starting in Sydney too. Mm. So it was actually quite difficult to get a doctor's appointment. Um, and then what happened over a period of about six weeks was a number of different appointments where we thought we were fixing her ear infection, but she just continued to decline. Um, she was actually diagnosed when we took her brother for his five-year-old vaccinations. Um, I just took her in for a second look and we were sent straight to hospital. Oh, bless you. Sorry to hear it. Mark, uh, so what led to Karis' diagnosis? I mean, I mean, what, what did our treatment involve? Sure. Um, so when we took her to hospital for a, what we thought was just a routine blood test to work out what was going with her ear infection, um, she was pretty quickly diagnosed with leukaemia. Um, the doctors there, obviously, had seen it before. They knew the signs. And so from uh, day one, she was put on to begin her chemotherapy treatment um, from that first day in hospital. And for the next eight months or so, she went through multiple rounds of chemo, uh, different drugs, medications, lots and lots of tests, blood transfusions. Um, but she she came out good. Uh, so she's 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 oh, doing well yeah. now, um, <laughs> looking much better, uh, well on the road to recovery, which is great. Love seeing that awesome. big, beautiful yeah. smile, Karis. Um, <laughs> it must have been a bit scary in hospital. What do you remember about it, Karis? Well, I was really sick at the time, so it was a bit... It's Well, I don't remember much, but what I remember is it was scary going in for the first time because I had to get two cannulas and normally... Like, I saw other people with one, so I thought I was getting one. Yeah. Oh, yes. And a big shout-out to all the nurses in Two West at Sydney Children's Hospital that are dealing with all of the cancer kids at the moment. Oh, yeah, very, very well Amazing. said. This, this is great. It, it, it's so bright to talk about it. We're so glad that you are. I'm um, sorry, Karis, now, now that you're feeling a lot better, you have a beautiful little smile there, uh, you're in lockdown at the moment, so how are, you, how are you managing with that? I mean, what are your favourite things to do now you're in lockdown? Well, mostly it's when Cole's home and he's like, um, so I can, like, play with him. Aww. This is Cole. This is her brother. They love each other. You two are nice to <laughs> yeah. each other, right? Unlike my little boys that fight like cat and dog. <laughs> Any tips? It'd be great um, if you could pass them on. Laura, um, you're, you guys are ambassadors for a really fantastic initiative as well, uh, Build for a Cure. Can you tell us what that's all about and how people can get involved? Um, absolutely. In Sydney's west, there's a house being built at the moment um, entirely by volunteers and... Um, the money that's raised will go towards the Children's Cancer Institute. And uh, thankfully, McDonald Jones Homes um, are the organisation that have really stepped up um, to make this happen for cancer research. Um, what the public can do is they can buy a brick to the home. So you just saw a photo of Karis holding a brick, and each brick, I believe, is about $20, but you're welcome to donate more. Oh, how brilliant is that? Mm. Lots of people getting behind this really great community initiative. Sure. If yeah. you'd like to help raise essential money for research into children's cancers and get behind the Build for a Cure campaign, you can head to the website, buildforacure.org.au slash brick. $20 a brick, buy one and help out build brighter futures for gorgeous kids just like Karis. Guys, Karis, Laura, Mark, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks for smiling. Right. All right, stay with us. Still to come, our fab fashionista, Victoria Latu. She's in next to solve all of your style dilemmas and soon gift ideas for Father's Day that will knock socks off the list. And later, Julia Morris chimes in from lockdown for a few laughs. See you soon. Jimmy's mum has arrived. I'm trying to find some truth and some honesty. And she's about to drop a massive love bomb. Is there anyone here that might not be here for me? I don't want you wasting your time. Is she really over her ex? So what does this mean for Jimmy and one of his favourites? This is a massive blow for me. I am concerned. I need to find out the truth. Do you, do you genuinely see something here with me? I wouldn't be here if I didn't like you. I'm angry. This is sabotaging my relationship with Jimmy. A night of love bombs. 7.30.